And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite for our next deck. So what we're doing today, we have uh, four new decks and we may be playing a fifth deck also. Um, we'll see, but we're definitely playing four new decks today. Also, we're doing a 12 hour stream on Saturday to uh, celebrate the new set. Um, but we're doing two decks where I have a lot of new cards and I know y'all want to see new cards and everything and I want to see new cards. Um, but not everybody has all the shards to be crafting all the new cards. So I am also playing two decks, two other decks, where there's not really very many new cards. And that's one of these. So this Sejuani Frostbite is, you know, just like our, our Frostbite midrange from before. So you don't, there's not very many new cards in here. Our two new cards are, of course, our new champion, Sejuani, gives us a, um, gives us a great top end card um, in here. And just... You know, has the Frostbite trigger for, for Ash, has Vulnerable, which is really nice. Just a really, really good champion. So I think fits perfectly. I'm only playing two, um, basically because it is a six mana card. So I'm only playing two, and I'm not really sure what I wanted to take out for a third. Uh, but maybe it's just too powerful that I should be playing a third over, like, the third Hearth Guard or the third Babbling Bjerg or something. I'm not sure, but we got two in here. And then also I'm playing a... Uh, to caught in the cold. I like this this frostbite spell also. Um, you know, give an enemy you, even though it's slow speed, it's still that vulnerable can be really nice. We're gonna try this out. Basically, playing this instead of culling strike. Um, you know, just more ways to to level up our ash. Basically here. Yeah, we're not really gonna be leveling up Sejuani too much in this uh this deck but i think that's fine i think just six mana five six with that play trigger and overwhelm i think that's still just a really good card especially whenever you think about like omen hawk and avaros and hearth guard and other ways like that that we can pump this up to be even a bigger creature again with overwhelm um and like that vulnerable being really nice so yeah we're not we're probably not leveling up sejuani but that's okay still really good even without the level up and if we level up then it's just of course insane um all right let's let's get to it excited about this deck we got our um let's see we got everything ready to go where are you at there you are let's go play five games Those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you have like uh, decks, champions, that kind of stuff you really want to see, you know, leave those comments. Let me know. Uh, this is a pretty decent curve. Two, three, four, five. The Ice Veil Archer doesn't match up well against Misfortune, I suppose. I'll shuffle the Hearth Guard back in and we'll keep the rest. With Babbling Bjerg finding us an Ash, we're probably going to want to play Ash on turn five. Anyway. Just need a second. Thumbnails ready. Awesome. Alright, let's save some thumbnails. Thank you, Yud. You are amazing. A true friend, Yordian, welcome. Alright, now upload this. Almost done, and that video is going to be uploaded. Hey, Void Rose, it's going great. Super exciting day. We got new cards, new pets, <laughs> and uh, Legends of Terra is out on mobile now. Love it. That's a great draw. Yeah, I did try the monkey pet. Yeah, we had uh, last round with the scout mid range. We used the the powder monkey. Powder monkey is awesome, top tier. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, 
Oh, let's go. I will unite the Freljord. Let's go. Should we use the Fiora emote since we're using a challenger? I don't usually use a lot of emotes, but I feel like I, I should step up my emo game. Don't kill Ash, don't kill Ash. No. So deal three to an ally to do three to anything. Try to frostbite this thing. Ash is at three out of five. Like to draw another Ash with Babbling Bjerg, but you know we'll just have to see what we draw. <laughs> Will a Vi Jinx aggro deck be any good? I've just started and not sure what I go for first. Vi. Okay, so it's hard to know. You know, with with all like all sorts of new cards and everything, it's it's really hard to say what will be good and what won't be good. It's just it's really kind of too difficult to to tell. Both Jinx and Vi are certainly good cards. You're probably going to want to you know have another region um, alongside them. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure which region that is, but. Um, but yeah, like there's there's some potential there. Vi is kind of more, I guess it can be the top end of an aggro deck, but it's also kind of more mid range in nature. Um. Look out there! Attack. I feel like I should do this. I feel like it's just harder to kill the 5-6, and I really want to kill this Draven. Just won a game against a Maokai with zero cards in your deck remaining. Nice, Seymour. Nice. Got there just in time. So yeah, basically... Um... I don't know. I guess the other thing to say, Chaos, is that aggro, right, before before the patch, aggro was in a pretty rough spot. Like, there, it was it was really tough being an aggro player. There were so many good tools against aggro. Um, not sure if that will change too much after the patch. But... Um, yeah, that's one thing we'll have to just see. There is a lot of, like, do one damage to stuff after this patch, which does make it seem like that could be tough for aggro. With Jinx and with Vi, you probably want to be a little bit more mid rangey, honestly, with those two champions than aggressive, you know, than aggro. Got access needed. 
That is true, that aggro always is kind of the cheapest to make with a limited collection. That is true. Um... Could just let my Bjerg die and then play Assessor plus Drummer. I'm gonna go for this. Alright, cool. Um It may be better It may be better to pair Jinx with a different champion than buy. You know, Jinx with Oh, I need to win a game with Noxus. I didn't realize that was my quest. Jinx with, like, Draven. Um, something else like that may... That may work out better. That card's pretty cool. We definitely need to play some of that 8-drop. That card's pretty cool. Yeah, aggressive mid-range. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably where you want to be. Um, probably not Skya for the expedition videos. Probably not. They take a, a really long time and they, they don't hit as well. Um, I, I do have like a, a playlist of almost 30 expedition videos that I did whenever we started the game. Um, and that's on, on YouTube. There's a playlist of about 30 expeditions, but... I think for now we're probably just going to be sticking in with ranked and with new decks and stuff like that. Sure is dark, eh? Oblivious Islander. I like the name of this card. Those are two words that are fun to say back to back. Oblivious Islander. That's a really well named card. Satisfying to say, Oblivious Islander. You can try it out at home. Soul Shepherd. That's also pretty good. Okay, PNZ and Demacia are your favorite regions. Okay. We about to take a lot of damage. You can definitely do some stuff there, PNZ and Demacia. What's up, Felipe? Yeah, new set. And it's out on mobile also. I will unite the Freljord. It's a good day. Show me a target. It's the real question, do I brittle steal this? I think so. I just think it's kind of likely that they have, you know, like a, like maybe they have like a vile feast. So I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll we'll see how much. Yeah, you know, we'll see how, if that works out. Okay. Yeah, Lucian and Jinx. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit more. Maybe Lucian and Jinx. Soul Shepherd is good. Hmm. Dang. 
They got another little shark. So if we block here, we're going down to four. All right, going down to four. We're staying at four. I mean, I guess I should just play the assessor first. No. Without me. Only the finest serve. Yeah, I should just play the assessor first. Show them the might of Noxus. Avarosans, stand together. Who's that you got there? All right, I really hope they don't draw some ephemeral thing that brings some more sharks back. But even if they do, we got harsh wins. So, I mean, I think this this game's probably ours. You own what you take. Remember why we fight. Let's go. This kind of deck still looks pretty good. Um, you know, I know it's not a, it's not very many new cards, but um, your first game of the day was against Karina Control. <laughs> it's already, already a grind. Your first game. I'm sorry, Sejuani. I want to keep Sejuani. Like, I really want to, but I just think we need a mulligan six mana card. So, Elise Hecarim Thresh. So, I have a plan. I am going to... I'm going to be passing here on turn two right away. And hopefully they play Elise. And then... I'm gonna like auto pass. Right, they drop a lease. No, they're supposed to play a lease. And then I was gonna glory seeker the Elise. They didn't they didn't uh you know go into my plan. They don't play into it. My trap. Rude. So Shadow Shadow Isles Demacia. I will unite the Freljord. Let's unite the Freljords. I feel like how it's just, you know, like purple spray paint. Looking like they're gonna glimpse beyond. Oh no, Valfeast. Okay. Well, 
Well, like that vulnerable is really nice because you know we get to choose what ashes. You know, like they don't get to block ash with something else. So like that's that's something I really like with this caught in the cold that you get to just frostbite something and have ash attack it. Boo. Alright, so we're trading Mark of the Isles for um, Elixir of Iron. That was a good Mark of the Isles by them. Yes, Sejuani. Who does not know the name Laura? Keeping them from killing Ash. I need just a moment. Line up. And so we're going to have our, our Glory Seeker is going to try to kill their protege. Level up here. As the arrow flies. Face me. Guess I could just kill this. If I didn't have the harsh winds, I'd be taking the the challenger, but because we have the harsh winds, um, and of course, you know, like the three toughness also. Yeah, our, our deck doesn't really level up Sejuani, but it's not it's not really about that. This is just a huge, huge ally to have. That that frostbite vulnerable, also really nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense as a play. I wasn't really expecting it, but... I kind of expected them to... to challenge these two things, and then still attack with the Hecarim. I mean, I guess that's only getting four damage in. It's not the best. Going for lethal. They can't block. You gotta have removal. Do we get there? No. What is this? Glimpse beyond? Glimpse beyond. Glimpse beyond. No. Oh, that's unfortunate. It was a risky play. Today we turn the tide of war. 
This was a risky play because of you know, how powerful Hecarim is. But we did we did pretty good. We you know that drawing a flash freeze is nice. Should be fine. What? We will not hesitate. Guess they don't want to pull Sejuani. They're gonna let me block Hecarim. Prove your work. No blocks. That's true. Not going for lethal is kind of risky also. That's true. So Withering Wheel wouldn't be so good. Oh, I was kind of hoping they were just going to kill the Ash, and so then we got to play the new Ash. Make sure I still kill them through Withering Whale. So Withering Whale will put them up to eight. Stand and fight. And we would have you know enough damage to kill them, so we're good. Alright, GG's. That new the new spell caught in the ice, caught in the snow, caught in the snowy ice. That spell really helped us that game. Letting Ash be a challenger because of vulnerable that was really nice. Yeah, that could have been Vile Feast. It could have been if it's Vile Feast, they would have cast it earlier to get the blocker. So it's probably Withering Whale. Maybe I'm not sure. Uh, this looks like a hand that we keep. Triple Ash. <laughs> Alright, well, we have all of our champions, but we don't really have any support for the champions. No protection. Uh, no nothing. But, <laughs> hopefully the champions are good enough. That's what we got. Interesting that they didn't want to take out either Glory Seeker. That's a good draw. We doing ten? Dang, that's ten damage. That's a lot of damage. Two out of five for Ash. Um, 
It's toughness. Yeah, less health. All the world on one arrow. Three, four. I mean, I think they're just gonna be dead. I mean, obviously, I can just go straight to attacks and then and challenge these two and just hope they don't have a removal spell for the Ash. But I guess by doing this, I'm also hoping they don't have removal for Ash. Um. But we're gonna have a leveled up Ash. Like we're we're fine. Yeah. So like they're they're dead. Make it so they can't block with anything. I will unite the frail yard. I'll cut them apart. Getting that two mana. Victory. Um Again that two mana frostbite card. Caught in the snow. Caught in the ice. We're caught somewhere. But it's, a, it's looking like a good card. It's really helping out. Caught in the cold? Wow, I was way off. Well, not way off, but... I, th I definitely thought it was ice or snow. <laughs> it's cold. Caught in the, caught in the cold. If this, this card's winning us games, I can at least learn what it does. You know, learn its name. But yeah, this... this Sejuani Frostbite deck definitely looks like a, a good deck. You know, good day one deck. Um, lots of good cards here. Caught in the cold. We have been doing a good job of drawing Ash. We have been doing a good job of that, and Ash is really good. And Sejuani is just like the perfect top end card that this deck has really wanted. I need just a moment. You'll live, probably. One to that, two to me. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Vladimir. I do like Vladimir quite a bit. Vladimir's pretty cool. It's like impossible to like block. Like, what are they supposed to do as far as blocking goes? Um, I guess I want to save this five one with me having this Tritharian Assessor. Um, I'm throwing Omen Hawk away at the Demolitionist. Probably unnecessary. I'm glad I have this elixir of iron. Like, why is this thing not blocking here? Like, I'm surprised that's not a block. Oh, 
would like to play that, but I think it's I think Assessor is the play. <clears throat> Especially if they don't kill my uh, Ash right away. Especially if I get to draw two. Anytime you can just draw two. It's usually good to do that and not be greedy. Only the finest serve. So we could level up at let's see. No, we're not. Oh, I guess we're not gonna have the mana too, right? Let's see. So it's one, and then actually two, three, four, attacking five. Yeah. So they don't have removal on Ash. I could just level up Ash right now. Um, you know, or we could just go straight to combat and attack, and that's also a good option. I guess we'll just go straight to combat. Watch. Yeah, now I wish I would have just thrown this Omen Hawk in front somewhere. Just let this Omen Hawk die. This would have been a good turn to have both Ice Veil Archer and Trifarian Glory Seeker. Um. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could have just quick attacked the Ash the previous turn. Right. I kind of forgot about that thing being frostbitten and not needing the quick attack. I was going to be the zero power, like, whenever I made that attack. But yeah, I, I should have just quick attacked Ash the previous turn. Yeah, you're right, Chaos. Hey, Brad. Just bank this for mana. See, see what we need. So yeah, if I would have tried to just level up the ash, uh, they would have just killed my ash. Hey, Avon Snow. How are you doing? Are you real excited about all these new cards? Cause I certainly am myself. Um, I'm doing. I know, like this doesn't look like new cards here. We're doing uh, two decks with a whole lot of new cards, and then two decks with not very many new cards. Um, for, you know, to help out different people. Make it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Yep, yep, the cards are out now. Everything's a go. We are a go. I hope they don't have... I don't know. I don't know what they're going to have. Whatever they're going to have to stop me, I hope they don't have it. Not even sure what that is. I'll show you how it's done. For glory. <clears throat> All right, so our Sejuani Frostbite deck we went five zero with it. it 
did look really good. I, I do think this is just a solid deck, and this new set really helped out. You know, we got the two Sejuani at the top end, which is kind of the, the exact card that this deck wanted at the top end. This is perfect. I could see playing a third one instead of the third Hearth Guard. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, you know, that's that's something that probably needs more testing. I, I probably should have just played three um, right now, because I actually do have a third. Um, I probably should just try the three in this video so we'd be able to draw Sejuani more. Because um, honestly, that, that's probably that's probably going to be the case. We're probably going to like Sejuani more than Hearth Garden and want the third one. Um, this is a card, though, it's not great to have a lot of in your hand. You know, this Fury of the North isn't the best champion spell. And, you know, it is a six mana card. So it's a little harder to get out than Hearth Guard. I guess, no, Hearth Guard with Assessor is so strong. All right, now, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it like this for now. Um, yeah, yeah, actual Rito came by and gifted subs. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, but then Caught in the Cold. Not snow, not ice, cold. This card looked really good. It just helps us level up that Ash faster. That was really strong, having Ash leveled up faster. And that Vulnerable... Um, quite good also when you have all these challenger cards, especially and especially having a card like Legion Drummer, um, that can also make Vulnerable good, but obviously if they're Frostbitten anyway, that other stuff doesn't really matter. Um, you know, it turns all your stuff into, you know, like, basically what I mean by that is, like, your Legion Drummer can already quick attack something else, but then, you know how, like, other people will block your Legion Drummer every single time, or they'll block Ash every single time, and you can't control really what's blocking Legion Drummer or Ash. But with Vulnerable, you can have your, you know, you get to throw the thing that you make Vulnerable in front of the Legion Drummer or throw that Vulnerable card in front of Ash, and it makes attacking with those things safer. So if you don't have a ton of shards and you don't get, you know, you don't have like a lot of shards to be able to craft um, all sorts of new stuff right now, give this deck a try. You know, maybe you already had this deck or you're real close to it. Um, I think this will be a, a good deck starting off. Um, Especially how this set does seem to have like a whole bunch of like mid range um, and, and uh, mid range stuff, a whole bunch of units everywhere. Um, and uh, this, you know, this deck only has just these two new cards Caught in the Cold and Sejuani. All right, that's Sejuani Frostbite. So, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And also, let me know um, in the comments what, what do you want to see from the new set? You know, leave, leave those comments. I um, always like seeing those. All right, but thank you so much for watching uh, this video, and I will see you for the next one.